besties, it's Becca. And we're back for another video with bleaching your hair after one month of regrowth and toning your hair with a toner that I've never used. It's Willa T10. I cannot wait to try this because I have tried so many toners and this looks very icy. It's a pale blonde, but it looks icy on YouTube. And I am all about T18 and T14 and I'm currently bleaching my eyebrows and my hair, but um, I didn't have an intro, so. Let's get right into the video right now. I have never used Willa T10 ever, so this is the first time on bleached hair that we are gonna be using Willa T10, super excited. I've used a lot of Willa toners, like T18 and T14, a ton of other toners on my channel. You can just scroll on and see a bunch. First thing that I wanna say is I got my nails done. Aren't they so cute? I decided to go for something like different that you would, like you don't see these kind of nails like out in public. You always see like French or like $300 nails that have like wicked designs on them. But uh, these nails are pink tips with some butterflies on them, super cute. It's just like a sticker um, butterfly and then they put UV gel on top. Update on my hair. We took out my tape in rainbows um, because I have family coming over soon, like in a couple days, I don't want to have rainbow in my hair. So yeah. If you haven't seen like my tape ins on what I did in my last video, these are them. I did like a bunch of them in my hair and you know, they're super easy to take out with coconut oil. So um, use them when you want, but I did rainbow, super cute, right? First time doing rainbow, I just love it. I did straighten my hair and I just been like waiting for the day for me to, oh, bleach it. This is my daughter's, don't judge. We are Beauty and the Beast. Like, look at all that regrowth. That's just one month, which is amazing for me. <laughs> Do not use hair elastics that have metal if you are using it to bleach. So these are like the best to do bleaching. Get your mixing bowl. ASMR. So cringe. I should do like a a bleaching ASMR. We're using Blue Flash. Nine levels of lift. My mom, fun fact, loves ASMR. I love ASMR like when I'm having like trouble sleeping and I usually like, like the tapping. I like that noise. I have 20 here and this is what we're gonna use on our hair. I know people like um, watching videos of like me doing my hair with me talking versus like fast forwarding it. I totally agree. It is much, well, it all depends on the person. Some people don't like watching me like sit through and like talk about my whole life and all my problems, you know what I mean? But like when we're bleaching, I need someone to talk to. There's only so many times I can repeat my problems to my husband, you know what I mean? I'm gonna start at the top first, and you know, Becca should technically have a mirror. Let's get her a handy dandy mirror. I had questions about like how long does the Eero Eero silver last in your hair after using it because it is a semi-permanent. Now, I used it two times in one month, I think. Yeah, since the last time I bleached my hair, I used it and I used it every two weeks, I feel, just to like make my hair, oh my God, we, oh my God, we went all over there. It lasted me two weeks, I feel, and it's still in my hair. My hair is not like that yellow. If you want a silver hair color and you don't wanna like do any chemicals to it really, Use the Eero Eero Silver if you like ashy gray hair. Uh, it's just wonderful and it has coconut oil in it. 
and I wish I was sponsored because I just absolutely love it. And you guys know when I love a product, I really love a product like Apogee. Other than that, when I went to the nail salon today, I had a lady sitting next to me and she was like, she had to be like 40 years old or like 35, but she had like four kids and we were just chatting back and forth. I was like, oh yeah, I just had a baby like nine months ago. And this is like the first time I'm getting my nails done in like four years. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, well me, I'm just trying to like bribe my husband to have baby number five. And I'm like, whoa, baby number five. <laughs> I'm like, you got like your whole little army. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to like bribe mine for baby number three. <laughs> Even though I talked to this lady for like 15 minutes or like whatever, she was like, yeah, I always envisioned to have a big family. And so that like when they come over for Christmas dinner or like Thanksgiving, we can have like a big celebration with everyone. And I was like, oh my God, me too. And it was the funniest thing because I started laughing. I was like, oh my God, if anyone knows me, they would know that I've always dreamed of a big family and like sitting down all together. So you're like, no matter what, you're never lonely because you have your children that are going to come over regardless. You know what I mean? Like a whole celebration party. And I was like, me too. That's exactly what I want. And I swear, you guys could ask my husband. My husband would be like, "This, like, that's all I talk about is having a big family. That's all I've ever wanted. Like, if it was up to me, I would probably have like four to five children. But um, yeah, three kids is probably going to be what we're going to be stopping at. And I'm going to get my tubes tied. <laughs> because no doubt, yeah, it's, it's hard raising a family, obviously, and children. Um, but in the end, it's so worth it because you have like these lives that you created that are going to be with you forever. Like in my mind, I'm like, can we be friends? Because like, you're like exactly what I think in my own head, like of like having like a family, like mom friends. And she was like telling me that like, she just got like a, a mom van. And I was like, oh my God, I'm trying to look for a mom van soon. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I had to give up my truck to get um, a mom van. And I was like, yeah, I'm like dreading getting a mom van because it's a mom van. And like, usually when you have a mom van, you're lugging a bunch of kids in the mom van. <laughs> I have a whole basket here full of products that I need to try. And I just keep buying products to try, but don't end up filming it because I'm so busy. It's really awful. Um, I have like a bunch of like new toners. One of my besties told me to use like Shimmer's Lights um, new conditioner that's a toning. So I bought that. I have to try that. And then I also heard that Willa has a new toner out there that I haven't picked up yet, but been meaning to go pick it up because it looks so good. And then I also have a toner for Chi. And then I also have a color remover to use on the rainbow extension to see if, you know, it'll come out. Once we have it all over our hair, um, I like to do my eyebrows in this time. So um, warning, do not do this at all because this is very, very dangerous. And um, yeah, I always like to put a disclaimer. I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing. And um, I just like bleached eyebrows and a lot of people, it's a very controversial thing. Let me tell you, having bleached eyebrows, like that's probably like one of the comments that I get the most are wear her eyebrows. And why do you bleach your eyebrows? Well, because I love light eyebrows on having blonde hair. That's all I can say to you, Karen. So bleach gets everywhere. This is super messy, but I don't leave it on long. I leave it on for like a minute and then I wash it out just so I can get all the old toner out of my hair so I can have like all one color. Okay, girlfriend, let's go. Let's go rinse this out right now and I'll be back. We're gonna take Willa T10, yeah. 
and we are gonna pour it into our bucket to get rid of this orange. I'm pretty nervous because I've never used this before, so I hope this goes well. So we're just gonna take this all in here. We're gonna fill this bottle up two times with 20 developer. This is what it's looking like. It's looking pretty gray. Um, I'm gonna start with my roots first, and then I'm gonna move to the length of my hair. <laughs> probably five to ten minutes and I'll be back with the final results with using Willa T10. We are back from the graveyard. It is in the morning time at 7 a.m. and I don't know how my eyes are open. I do know why my eyes are open. It's because of my son. Yeah. I'm obsessed with this hair color. I just have to say it. It is a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm in love, I'm in love. I just love it. It is the perfect shade of blonde. It is literally what the box describes. It's pale blonde, it's exactly what it is and it's a pale. Though, when I think of pale blonde, I think of like a very light, like bleached blonde, but like toned down a bit. That's like pale blonde to me, I feel like. But this, I could totally rock for a pale blonde and I love it. I chopped my hair into a bob. So my breakage that I had when I was pregnant um, is gone now. I've been waiting almost six to seven months for my hair to like grow back so I could cut it into a bob so it's like straight. So now it is, it's completely straight and it's a bob, okay? It's a bob look, it's a bob vibe. 10 out of 10 for me. My favorite toners are probably T14, T18, and now T10. Those are my top three favorite toners from Willa. It was very hard to cut my hair into a bob, even though my hair was really short already. I think I cut off another two inches or three inches. Um, and going around is really hard. Like you need a back mirror and my husband's not home, he's at work. So what am I gonna do? Get Kylie to cut the back of my hair for me? I might as well. So once this toner fades, I'll be going in with the Blonde Brilliance Platinum or I can do the Chi Paint in the color Pearl Glam. One or the other, you guys pick which one I should do to try out. Why my hair looks so shiny and like somewhat like soft is because I did the Afigy Protein Treatment after I did the bleaching. You don't want to do the protein treatment after you've toned because the toner will come right out and then you're starting from scratch again, okay? So do the treatment after you've bleached or before you do the bleaching and wait one or two days so the protein can really kick in. And then that's it. You have beautiful, healthy, like virgin hair, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you guys like this hair color. And would you do this hair color? Because it is a whole vibe, I swear. Like, I just, do you guys see this color? That is beautiful. I hope to see you guys in my next freaking video. Bye, guys.